Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break Spanish. This is episode 13, and in lesson 13, you're going to be learning about places in the town, how to ask for simple directions. You'll be using the phrase, ¿Dónde está? Where is? ¿Dónde está? And we can begin by asking something like, ¿Dónde está la catedral? Where is the cathedral? By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to ask for lots of places in the town and also to understand the directions when you're given them. I hope you enjoy the lesson. So we're finally out in the town in Spain or in another Spanish-speaking country. And today, one of the first things that we're going to learn are the words for some of the places that we might encounter in this town. So, we're going to start with some masculine words. Remember that all Spanish words are either masculine or feminine. And we're going to start with some masculine words. Cara, can you repeat after me? And again, we'll have all the listeners repeating with you. So, first of all, el museo. El museo. El museo. El museo. El museo. El museo is the... Museum. It's the museum, that's correct. It ends in O, um, the word museo ends in O, and lots of Spanish words that end in O are masculine. It's preceded, therefore, by el, the masculine word for the. Let's now think about something else, another masculine word, and that would be el banco. El banco. El banco. El banco. El banco would be... The bank. The bank, of course. So I hope everybody's remembering to repeat along with Cara. We've had el museo. El museo. And el banco. El banco. Muy bien. Another word would be el restaurante. El restaurante. El restaurante. El restaurante. That's it. Remember the Spanish R? I'm sure you all remember the lesson that we were trying to teach you how to best pronounce the Spanish R with the um, similar to the American English barrel, the double T sound, or otter, and words like that. Cara, you're much better at me than that, so I'll not say any more. <laughs> um, so remember those R's. El restaurante. El restaurante. Muy bien. Okay, so we've had el banco, el museo, el restaurante, obviously the restaurant, another masculine word. And one more masculine word we'll learn, and that is el mercado. El mercado. El mercado. El mercado. Now, can you work out how that would be spelled? M-E-R-C-A-D-O. Good. A-D-O at the end. Ado. Ado. And in actual fact, in some parts of Spain and other parts of Latin America, you would actually say el mercado. El mercado. Yeah, um, but probably easier to stick to el mercado, but make sure it's a soft D sound in the middle. El mercado. El mercado. Muy bien. So, let's run through our four masculine words first. El banco. El banco. El museo. El museo. El restaurante. El restaurante. El mercado. El mercado. Muy bien. Now we're going to introduce some feminine words here as well for other places in the town that you might need to visit while you're in holiday or travelling in, in a Spanish-speaking country. And first of all, we'll start with one place that in many Spanish and Hispanic towns is the, the centre of the town, and that is La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor. Or in Latin American Spanish, La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor. So La Plaza Mayor, or La Plaza Mayor, is the main square. La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor. Or La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor. Now, just a, a cultural note here. I've certainly been in plenty of, of plazas mayores in, in different towns in Spain, and they're always very, very nice places to be. Um, for example, in, in Madrid, there's restaurants all around the, the Plaza Mayor, and there are even concerts and theatre performances performed in the square. My favourite Plaza Mayor in the whole of Spain and all the cities I've visited is Salamanca. If anyone has ever been to Salamanca, the Plaza Mayor is preciosa, preciosa. So, la Plaza Mayor, the main square. La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor. 
Okay, somewhere else that you might well start your tourist quest would be the Tourist Information Office. In Spanish, this is the Office of Tourism. La Oficina de Turismo. La Oficina de Turismo. La Oficina de Turismo. La Oficina de Turismo. Muy bien. Now, in Latin American Spanish, you would say La Oficina de Turismo. La Oficina de Turismo. Okay, so it's the Tourist Information Office, and that's where you can ask many of the questions that we're going to be learning today. Moving on, another feminine place would be La Piscina. La Piscina. La Piscina. La Piscina. Now, if you're familiar with French, then you're very likely to know what la piscina is. A swimming pool. It's a swimming pool, that's right, or the swimming pool, la piscina. And just another pronunciation point about Latin American Spanish, you wouldn't say la piscina, but la piscina. La piscina. Muy bien, and that indeed sounds even more like the French, la piscine. Okay, so we've had three feminine words so far, la plaza mayor. La plaza mayor. La oficina de turismo. La oficina de turismo. La piscina. La piscina. And one final one, that is la catedral. La catedral. La catedral. La catedral. Okay, muy bien. La catedral means... The cathedral. The cathedral, yeah. And there's lots of cathedrals in many Spanish towns and indeed towns all across the Spanish-speaking world. So we have eight different places in the town. Let's run through them all again, starting with the masculine ones. El museo. El museo. El banco. El banco. El restaurante. El restaurante. El mercado. El mercado. La catedral. La catedral. La plaza mayor. La plaza mayor. La piscina. La piscina. La oficina de turismo. La oficina de turismo. Muy bien. Try to trick you out there with saying that last one very quickly. Okay. We need to ask, we could obviously stop someone in the street and just say la catedral and look a bit lost, but it might be better to say where is the catedral. And we've already come across the word for where. Can you remember how you say where are you from? Donde eres? De donde eres? De donde eres. So the word for where is? Donde. Donde. Okay, and we need to remember our nice soft Spanish th sound. Donde. 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 And where is, is donde está. Donde está. Donde está. Donde está. Okay, so can everybody repeat this? Donde está. Cara? Donde está. Okay, and in Spanish, you would probably be more likely to run it together and say something like, Donde está. Donde está. Donde está. ¿Dónde está? So, what we're going to say is, where is the museum? ¿Dónde está el museo? ¿Dónde está el museo? Muy bien, ¿dónde está el museo? ¿Dónde está el museo? Now, there's one easy way to say excuse me or to stop someone in the street, and that is by saying, please, por favor. Por favor. Por favor, ¿dónde está el museo? Por favor, ¿dónde está el museo? Muy bien. So, I'm now going to ask you to come up with some other phrases using the words we've already learned in this lesson. How would you say, excuse me, where is the main square? Cara, can you help the listeners? Por favor, ¿dónde está el Plaza Mayor? La Plaza Mayor. La Plaza Mayor, yeah. ¿Dónde está la Plaza Mayor? ¿Dónde está la Plaza Mayor? Sí, por favor, ¿dónde está la Plaza Mayor? Por favor, ¿dónde está la Plaza Mayor? Muy bien. How would you say, excuse me, where is the bank? Cara? Por favor, ¿dónde está el banco? Muy bien. Por favor, ¿dónde está el banco? Por favor, ¿dónde está el banco? Can we have, um, where is the museum? ¿Dónde está el museo? 
que, por favor, ¿dónde está el museo? And what about where is the tourist information office? Por favor, ¿dónde está la oficina de turismo? Muy bien. Por favor, ¿dónde está la oficina de turismo? So, we've learned how to ask where are certain things. And of course, if you've got a map, then somebody could point to a place on the map and, and show you exactly where it is. And for that purpose, we're going to learn a couple of other phrases. They might say, está aquí. Está aquí. Está aquí. Está aquí. So, el museo está aquí. El museo está aquí. And they might even start by saying something like, mire. 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 And mire is the polite form of saying, look. Mire, señor, el museo está aquí. Mire, señor. La... What did you say again? Hold el museo. El museo está aquí. Mire, señor, el museo está aquí. Mire, señor, el museo está aquí. Muy bien. Now, if you don't have a map, then perhaps someone would want to give you actual directions. And they might want to say things like turn left, turn right, go straight on. And we're going to learn these now. The first of these is siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Let's try to get more of an, a Spanish sounding O. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Todo. 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 Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Muy bien, muy bien. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto means go straight on. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. And siga literally means follow. So it's follow straight ahead. Follow straight on. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Okay. Now, turn, the, the word turn in Spanish, there's actually a couple of words for turn, but we're going to stick with one, and that is doble. 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 Muy bien. Doble literally means double, so it's almost like saying double back, but obviously we're not talking about fully turning around. Doble is just turn in Spanish. Doble. Doble. And you might want to turn left or right. We're going to start with right. It's a bit easier than, than left. So we'll start with doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la, a la derecha. 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 <laughs> Muy bien. The, the cha sound, you're, you're doing that well, Cara. Derecha. Derecha. Okay, remember the, the smiley bit that you're supposed to smile when you say CH in Spanish? Cha. Cha. Derecha. Derecha. Muy bien. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. So that's turn right. Turn left is doble a la izquierda. Doble a la izquierda. Muy bien. Doble a la izquierda. Doble a la izquierda. Mm -hmm. Now, not to complicate things, but in Latin American Spanish, you would say izquierda. 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 Doble a la izquierda. Doble a la izquierda. Muy bien. So, we have siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la izquierda. Doble a la izquierda. Muy bien, muy bien. Bueno, una cosa más. One more thing. Or two more words, at least. You might be looking for a particular thing in town. It might be the bank. It might be the, the, the tourist information office or, or whatever. And you have identified who it is and the person has given you directions. The one thing that you might want to ask is, is it far or is it near, nearby. So, to say, is it far, you use that same word for is, which is? Está. Está, uh -huh, está. And the word for far is 
lejos. 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 Está lejos. Está lejos. Está lejos. Está lejos. Muy bien. Now, we have already come across a phrase, are you from here? Cara, can you remember how you would say, are you from here? Eres de aquí. Eres de aquí. Uh -huh. The informal version or es usted de aquí. So, from here in Spanish is... De aquí. De aquí. So, how would you now say, putting these two bits of the jigsaw together, is it far from here? Está lejos de aquí. Muy bien. And how would you say, is the museum far from here? Está el museo lejos de aquí. Almost right. In actual fact, you turn it around a little and you say, El museo está lejos de aquí. El museo está lejos de aquí. Okay, so raising your tone at the end to say, to ask a question, but to make a statement, El museo está lejos de aquí. The museum is far from here. El museo está lejos de aquí. Muy bien. The opposite of lejos is cerca. 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 In Latin America, cerca. Cerca. So, how would you say, is the bank near here? Listeners, can, can you work that one out? Is the bank near here? Cara, what would you say? El banco está cerca de aquí. Muy bien. And you remembered to turn it round a little. El banco... Está cerca de aquí. So the bank is close from here or close to here, we would say. El banco está cerca de aquí. El banco está cerca de aquí. Muy bien. We've actually covered quite a lot in this lesson. We've talked about different places in the town. We learned eight different places and we'll be adding to that next week. And we've also learned to ask where is something. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? We learned some directions. Siga todo recto. Siga todo recto. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la izquierda. Doble a la izquierda. And está lejos and está cerca. Está lejos and está cerca. Is it far and is it near? And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break Spanish. Thanks for joining us, and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break Spanish community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakspanish and follow at Learn Spanish on Twitter. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.